My name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2012. I'm sitting with Vangalis of Artipia Games. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. <laughs> yes, we were, we were interview buddies last year as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> And you have brought us now our second commercially published game. I actually just asked you that, which is Amongst, Among the Stars. <laughs> which, uh, your last game was about food, so yes, this, this is, is a big jump, big theme wise. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, let's start with the basics. How many players? It's for about two to four players. About how long would a game it take? It takes about half an hour. So, another so, very quick game. Yes, mm -hmm. it plays very quickly. And uh, it's. Uh, its main theme is the building of a space station, as you can see on the cover as well. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so I All like right. science fiction a lot, so it was very nice. Any anything in particular? That's your uh, favorite? Uh, Babylon 5. <laughs> uh, hey, all right. I'm sure there's a lot of Babylon 5 fans back home. Um, all right, why don't you walk us through what to expect on okay. a turn of uh, Among the Stars? Basically, this is a, a card drafting game. So you draft cards between the players in order to and you use these cards to build your space station. Basically, you start with a hand of six cards, mm -hmm. uh, of which you choose one, keep it in front of you, you pass the rest of the cards to the next player. So, and... Uh, so let's just say I'm going to pick one at random, I'm going to keep the marketplace, so then I would pass those okay, along so to you. So give me this. And I use this card now, uh, in, I can use it in three different ways. I can either build it on my station, mm -hmm. I pay with this with credits. I have uh, okay the cost economy. right up there in the, the corner. There. I immediately get those victory points listed here. So on the track, I will move my marker accordingly, and then I will check my the ability of the location card to see if I gain anything else or if whatever other effect happens. Mm -hmm. For example, in this one, I get one credit back because I have a reactor on my station, so I get one All back. Right. <laughs> so. Uh, it's very important to see where you place each location card because according to that you gain or you lose some uh, things and that's what you have to manage. Now, uh, there are, uh, apart from the cost in credits, there are some of the cards have also a card, a cost in uh, energy. Okay, and here, we're, let's actually, we'll kind of put this one up here in the middle, that way we can okay. zoom in because this art is quite vibrant. Yes, <laughs> the art is really something. So when you want to play a card that requires energy, you have to pay with energy from a reactor. Which I really like, these, uh, these yes, cubes, those are, those are great. They end up really <laughs> nice. <laughs> so you pay the cost in credit and you also spend one energy cube in order to build these kind of cards. Okay, so... The, oh, okay, I did, just saw the energy symbol on the bottom yes. there, so they're, they're exactly. on the middle card there. Now, the other thing that you can do with a card in your hand, which you select, you can discard it pay uh, the cost, one credit, and build a new power reactor. Aha! So you put it there, you put two energy cubes on top of it. The thing is that the reactors can only give energy up to two spaces away. Oh. So if I didn't have this, I wouldn't be able to play this here, mm -hmm. because it's one, two, three. So I need to build an additional reactor so that I can try and build it. Yeah. Um, and the third thing I can do, I can discard the card and just gain three credits. It's another way to gain uh, money. Although I'm guessing a lot of these cards probably also give you money. There are also abilities. Uh, the cards have different types. You see those different colors, mm -hmm. red, blue, uh, green, yellow. And each of the type it feels quite different. Uh, for example, the yellow cards are the business cards. So their abilities revolve around credits, uh, the resources in the game. The, the red cards are the military ones, and they are really focused on energy. Okay. Then you have the blue, the administrative cards, which uh, focus on other cards in the station. So a lot of them in their ability reference a particular other card. And you have the green cards, which are the diplomatic ones, and they offer a lot of interaction. Mostly the, their abilities are about interacting with the other players. You gain something depending on what the others have. You ask the other players to do something. So there is a lot of things involved in every location type. Uh, when uh, the cards that you begin with, the six cards, you draft them all. Mm -hmm. And when you're over, a new round ah, begins. A new round. And I'm guessing the game ends after four rounds, exactly. given our fabulous and track there. 
and surprise, surprise, the <laughs> player with the most victory points wins the game. Oh, that's so unique. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have guessed them. So. I know, I know, I never would. I thought this track was something completely different. Yes. <laughs> um, as you can see, there are also some cards that have different kinds of abilities. These are in white frame, these are in yellow frame. Mm -hmm. The difference is that when I play an ability in a yellow frame, I gain the victory points immediately, but I don't check the ability. I will check it at the end of the game. Oh, so maybe. So I, I can work around that. So for example, this one says I get one more victory point for each other turret in the station. All right, so, so you have a lot I of military build it, power. And I have it in my mind that I need to get the other turrets as well, so that maximize the points I'm getting. So they really help you to create strategies and uh, form your plan when you play. Now, as you're drafting cards around each round, are you building or doing something with all six? You're going yes. all the way down to the end? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, okay. exactly. That's the last one. And whenever you draft one, you immediately play it or discard it or... Right, so it's it. pretty much a simultaneous play. Yes, exactly. Game, right? That's why it's so quick and uh, so easy. That's for sure. Now, it looks like we got one more thing up in the top corner there, yes. which we definitely have enough time to talk about. All right. The, what I described is the basic game, the, in, the game in its simplest form. All right. You can add more things to it and make it even more interesting. Oh, I love to hear that. For example, mm -hmm. these are the tiles with the races. So, this is a science fiction game. The players <laughs> take the role of an alien race and each race tries to build its own station. So you can take the role of one of those races and that gives you a unique ability. So which oh, let's see, only uh, you my, have. Mine here is uh, when I discard a card to gain credits, I gain four instead of three. Exactly. And then I have a little end of the game uh, uh, turn in for some extra exactly. victory points. In our story, which can be found in the manual, there is a thematic story behind uh, the <laughs> game. These are the traders. And, uh, so you have these guys here, which are very good on fixing things and uh, mechanical, mechanical wipe. And uh, he has the ability to play cards from the discard pile. So ah. I, when I have my hand, I can discard the card and pick another one from the discard pile and build that instead. So there are other abilities. They're all quite different. So How many races are there included eight. in the game? In the main all game, right. we have eight races. And, uh, Another thing we can add is objectives. There are also eight objectives in the game. At the beginning, you draw as many as the number of players. And these are goals, aims, something to aim for. So for example, here you have build the most red locations. So this way, the player that at the end has built the most red locations will get an extra five victory points. So we just lay out, let's say if we in a four player game, we'd lay out four objectives exactly. and whoever meets that. So one person maybe could get all four. Perhaps, yes. Maybe. Although it would be quite hard. <laughs> I'm sure. Yes. The thing is that if anybody is tied with another player, nobody gets the bonus. You have to be, have the most red locations, for example. The sole winner. Exactly. And uh, another thing that we can add in the game are these cards. They are the conflict cards. That's how we call them. Um, many people think that, uh, okay, a drafting game does not have a lot of interaction. Okay, so I build my station, I don't do anything with yours. Right. Okay. Uh, with these cards, with the green location cards that I described, there is a lot of interaction in the main game, but we decided to put something for those that want to, you know, I want to do something to you because I think you're ahead and I want to stop you. So we added the conflict cards. This is a set of cards that you can optionally add in your deck, mm -hmm. in the location deck. And uh, when you play with them, there are cards that you target another player, and according to how your stations are built, you can have him lose some points and you gain some more. Mm. So more direct confrontation. This is what we call the aggressive mode. <laughs> so you can play the game in either non-aggressive or aggressive mode. Now, are these elements, could I play with conflict and not with objectives or races? Can you can I do any combination mix you want. and match however I want? Uh, the main game uh, for a gamer that wants to play should add the, the races and the objectives. Okay. And according to the preference of uh, the group, they can add the conflict cards or not. So you would recommend at least these for... Yes, yes. <laughs> these uh, add for, a lot for to For a game. hobby board gamer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> for the people most likely to be watching this live right now. <laughs> right. 
Well, I gotta say, this is it now. We've just done two Artipia games in a row, and not, you guys make games that are easy to learn. I, again, I could feel yeah. like I could sit down and play this right now. And you have literally, because we have a clock right here, have taught that to me in 10 minutes. So. <laughs> Actually, we do it in about five minutes when you come on our booth. Today, All right, so. fair enough. I know. <laughs> hey, we took our time today and you know, talked about Babylon. So it's fun. very easy to learn. And, uh, <laughs> That's for sure. It has a lot of fun. Well, thank you so thank much you. for bringing by Among the Stars, and congratulations on title thank number you. two. Thank you. <laughs>